Previously, on Resident Evil 2. One vicious man down. Don't look down, Sherry. It's a grisly sight. One vicious man down, one Birkin spawn down. Claire is injured all hell. Leon's notified that we are GTFOing. I think things are technically looking up. Speaking of, let's not. Come on, let's get out of here. Gross. Now we all smell like we. What was that? Well, it's a good thing you're small and nibble. Or is it? Ow. Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! On the one hand, Claire could totally sit through that. On the other hand, more Sherry sections. Oh, Sherry is a very adept adventurer. Watch as she very slipperily slides through the sewers that everyone loves. Everyone loves sewer sections. And evades capture at every turn. Ooh, some kind of warehouse. Cherry's still carrying her first aid herb uh, spray. Oh shit! Yeah, zombies can't touch her. Various codes and meters are placed in order. Literally, zombies can't touch her. She's too small to grab, so what they do is they vomit bile at her. That's that's their attack. Out of reach. <gasps> We gotta come back down here with Claire eventually at some point to get the ammo that's up there. You can see the very low poly grenade rounds. Oh, that's convenient. Ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> Shake it off, girl. Come on. You can walk and talk. There we go. Dang, girl. What do we have here? Oh. The wolf metal. What is this doing here? Oh, it was holding that plate together, of course. Ow. Claire? Oh. Oh. Rip. How'd you make it down here so fast? <sighs> Meanwhile. Uh-oh. I don't like the uh, connotations there. The floodgate is open. The game will reveal what's going on, but it's not good. Come on, pick it up. When Resident Evil games give you blue herbs, it is wise to take notice. You should take some blue herbs. Blue herbs in Resident Evil games cure poison. See, some some bullets in the bag. Sewer manager facts. 
On the first and third Wednesday of the month, Angela Margette, Chief of Maintenance, will, be, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce moisture levels in the facility by, accord, by activating the fan as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 20th of every month, the chemical transporter, Don Weller, will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend his regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will be using the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of the Umbrella Incorporated. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. And you will be informed of all of the potential visitors at the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to the destination safely. We will expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Security Chief, Umbrella Headquarters. <laughs> Now, I probably literally zoomed past that at full speed. Because it's not that important. But the... what is important is, uh... Umbrella traverse this... this land. And what makes that important is now Claire and Leon are learning about Umbrella's involvement. Now, if I remember correctly, I need the lighter here? Or am I thinking of a different area? Well, it's not gonna hurt to have this, and I do need the valve. So bring that. Absolutely. Oh. And... We're just gonna go ahead and save. We go. We have a few options to, to go various places, but there are there are item pickups on some routes and game advancing options in the other. And this is where Sherry just was before she took a hard fall. Now, if you remember, there's a zombie here, so we tread carefully. And I'm still carrying the ink ribbon. Gross. I think that's it. I think it's literally just the grenade rounds, and that's it. Which is fine. Okay, we have what we needed. Let's go back up. I freed up some space in my inventory, and um, if I need something, I'll just suck down the herbs. I. I have another blue herb in my inventory, and I so seldom get poisoned in this game that I'm not worried about it, particularly. Now you can go over here. Oh, maybe not in this scenario. But I think in scenario B, you can go down the... or go up the other elevator and kind of pluck the goodies over there. That's where Scenario B protagonists come down. Ooh. The sewer. The scariest of places. It's too dark to see inside. Oh my god, what a bloodbath. Bullet holes everywhere. Corpses of soldiers. What is happening? Also, flame rounds. Oh, good. Giant spiders. It's just what I always wanted. Assholes with multiple legs. Now, I am checking them out because they are soldiers. They probably have some good stuff. It looks like it's just the ammo. Which is fine. Because I'm always looking for ammo. God, that spider's place to cut off your exit. That's cruel. Then if we try to go over there, we won't be able to access the door because of the waterfall. Too much water pressure. And if you did get poisoned, here's just infinite anti-poison herbs. Oh, and a gun. Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? 
Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. Flashback. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! What is this thing? No. Hurry! What, what is this thing? Gruesome. So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. Ah! It's Sherry! You go that way. If we were a spy, we just got away scot-free. Also, I'm so glad I remembered uh, I needed this uh, valve. This section is kind of a dick for needing it. And you don't actually ever get rid of it because it's the only way to, to navigate this area. If you were thinking, wow, I, I bet you need that to go up, oh, you'd be right. You'd be right. In fact, let's just make sure it gets up there. That's some damn hydraulics.
We got the goods, let's get out of here. Sherry's around here somewhere. Also, are you ready to see the power of the T-Virus? In case of emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. You kind of got to wonder what you need the high-pressure gas cylinder for in an emergency. But it's all good. Sherry! That was just there. But really, holy fuck. Oh my god, oh my god. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. And it's a hard fight. But you were kind of meant to do something like this. No. Good work, you dumb gator. Boink. Dead. Oh my god, it blew up their entire upper head. That's gruesome. You remember when Resident Evil showed gore? Pepperidge Farms remembers. <laughs> Sherry, you all right? Oh, fuck. Sherry, it's time to get up. Wake up, Sherry. Oh, no. My stomach. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Now let's take this shiny thing. Brilliant. Now we watched what that did to Chief, uh, Chief Irons in pretty short order. So is that what happens when the embryo is rejected or is that what happens when the embryo, uh, just behaves as normal? Oh, right. So we can turn this off and activate a shortcut, I believe, which is great news for us. Awesome. We also need to handle... Oh. That's right. If you run too far from Sherry, she just goes, Oh, I guess you don't want anything to do with me, and just kneels down. Because Claire's so much faster than Sherry. Believe it or not, this isn't as big a problem as you would imagine. Fuck. Alright, you know what? Don't even care. I just don't want to run around back and forth. I got eagle and wolf. Oh, did you see it? Hold on, we'll read this and we'll review. No, we'll, let's look now. So we're... We looked over here, and over here, and... <gasps> Sherry! She holds Claire's hand. That's so good. That's such a good touch. Ah. Oh. Sewer Manager Diary. Here we go. <clears throat> June 28th. Uh, this is prior to the events of Resident Evil 1, by the way. It's been a while, but I saw Don today as we talked after completing our work. He told me he, has, he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body. Oh, never mind. This must be, like, a year following the events of the first one. While we were talking... Oh. Scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him, anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he's always looks grim. The expression on his face has always has been more unsettling than usual. My guess is it's been because Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. 
The chief has my sympathies, though. After all, he's done for the town. He doesn't deserve this. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. Pff, random. August 16th. The chief irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help on, and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect? August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide, and there is a possibility they'll even search throughout the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer activity operations until the investigation has been concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious, and I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this, uh, this operation. Well, that's a shame, because I think they've done one worse on you. He's full of bullet holes, too. So, the fuck happened here? Was that Annette suspecting uh, more spies? Hold on. Sherry? Sherry? Girl, come on. Okay, so what you wind up having to do... I had forgotten about this. It's just casually run, let her catch up. Run a little more, run, run, run. This is before developers got their shit together about escort quests. And unfortunately, Sherry is kind of an escort quest. We can't leave her behind. Oh, God damn it. Zombies! Rip. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Sherry. Normally, I think I would have just let that guy go, but Sherry still needed a pass. Uh, still with the spiders. And you gotta get out of the way because they will poison the fuck out of you. This is where the metals are used for. Just the absolute shittiest defense mechanism. Unless they happen to be RFID, in which case... It's still pretty shitty. Just not as shitty. Whoa. What was that? Let's go, Sherry. No time for hand-holding. You have to run faster than you've ever run before. Anything here we need? Doesn't look like it. The control panel, will you turn the pa power on? Yes. This trolley... Trolley? Trolley is going to get us out of here and into safety. Or so you think. All right. Now here's something you can do. You just ignite the night. Or ignite the uh, flare launcher and pick up the weapon box key. Now the weapon box key doesn't come until towards the end of the lab scene scenario, but it's the key is all the way back here, and you're not even in the lab. Oh boy! Eat lead, motherfucker! Do you want a piece of this, too? Oh, double trouble. Yeah, 
Yeah, you see what I mean? The submachine gun is balla. We're down to 44%. Now, I think she gets a reload, but I am a little fuzzy on that. Oh, okay. So, we're gonna need... The spark... The spark thing is kind of piss. We'll mostly use it for the lols, but... I am gonna come back for it, because it is basically ammunition. But I don't remember if, um... Oh, fuck. Get out of here, girl! I don't remember if the, the Spock launcher is any good at that, at anything. Or where to find the submachine gun reload. Hey, buddy. Oh. Rude. Okay, well. There are herbs over there. We could collect one, but we'll be back. Oh, gross. His arm came off. God damn. Some machine gunned him in the arm. Here we are. We're at the way station. Now we can drop the the valve off here and it, it'll never go away because it's used to traverse that one area. It was kind of obnoxious. We're back. We're back with the spark shot. Now this thing is a big old pile of poop. Truth be told. And we are going to just stow it. Um, you know what? Tell, tell you what. Let's do this. Let's stow the machine gun. Let's pull out the flame rounds. And let's have a bit of fun with the spark shot. Although, um, try to temper your expectations. It is not good. While we're here, go ahead and save. We save because we are at the precipice of something. Before us lies the entrance to the underground umbrella lab. Inspiration to the hive for the Resident Evil movie. I'm not even sure whoever wrote that movie even played the games. I mean, sort of? Some of the filmography certainly takes inspiration from the the strange camera angles in this game. Sherry, come on. Come, let's go. I need you to keep up. Your little legs have to keep up. There we go. Now what's in here? Ooh, flame rounds. Don't mind if I do. And the control panel key. All right. We can get this show on the road. You ready, Sherry? I'm ready. The flame rounds in the original Resident Evil were good for uh, plant life. In this game, they're good for plant life and... G-Virus victims. Alright, I remember this. Cover your ears! Oh, 
Oh, that's not annoying at all. Boy, I hope I remember to turn that down in editing. Or it'll just make you suffer. Sherry, her forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Oh, God. God, I hope Birkin isn't going all helicopter dad on us. That monster. Take someone's eye out with that. Uh. Oh. Tired of the old hen, were you? Oh boy. That's intimidating. Let's get out of here. Woo. Oh, that does a number on you, doesn't it? a bit of knockback, too. Suck on this, buddy. Okay, okay. Woo! Can't touch this. This is the moment where he starts touching this. Okay, he's hurt. But don't underestimate him. He will still mess you up. Get the hell out of here. While enjoying, uh... Actually, no, I'll... I'll tell that later. I'll tell you more about my virus theory later. Bottom floor, soaps, sunrooms, cosmetics, towels, and table saws. Sherry. Oh. Mm -mm. Uh, we have to help this girl out fast. 